Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I've got some Black Ops 3 gameplay for you, and we're going to be talking about connections in Black Ops 3 because I do have a little bit of intel for you about it. I got the idea from you guys, though. A lot of you have been asking me questions about how the time to kill is in this game. Is it fast? Is it slow? How good is the hit detection? How much engine lag slash broken cameras there are? Those of you on my channel, or if you've seen the Oven Bake Muffin videos, you're probably very familiar with that. And I give honest answers to these questions in that the TTK is a little bit faster than Black Ops 2. Hit detection is excellent. I didn't notice broken cameras, but then again, I'm playing on LAN, and we all know that Call of Duty games perform very differently on LAN than they do online because of lag compensation, which as much as it's demonized, it is a good and essential thing because it would actually be impossible to play this game or any game without some type of lag compensation. Even games like Counter-Strike or even old Unreal and Quake games have that built into it just to make it playable and to kind of sync up the difference between you and the other players. A good or bad netcode or lag compensation can make or break a game though. A breaking point in Call of Duty example would be kind of Black Ops 1. While it didn't chop, it didn't chug, or do anything like that, it certainly did have very, very strange and I would say wobbly hitboxes. Sometimes your bullets would go through people and sometimes you'd hit behind them. It was strange and a lot of people didn't like it. Another bad one, though not Call of Duty, I would point to Battlefield 4. It would load all of the bullets at once and sometimes two at once and do very strange things. Battlefield players hated that. An example of one that everybody holds up to be the gold standard or the good lag compensation would probably be Modern Warfare 2 just because it was deadly simple and old school. If you had a good connection in that game, you were godlike. You suffered very little ill effects of lag compensation. However, if you had a bad connection, you would chop and chug and kind of spaz out and it was really frustrating. Not as much people remember that. But we do have some information about the lag compensation in Black Ops 3. I was talking to a developer about this and I did mention that, you know, this is great, but the, uh, the land performance doesn't tell me much about online and he said that over the last three years they did rework the network code for the game they redid some of the matchmaking parameters so a lot of that's on demon wears in and they redid some of the lag compensation some of all the all the different things that we've talked about hit reg and all that sort of stuff they put some serious work into it and they made something that they are proud of something that they think is going to work and that they are very eager to see how it works in the wild in an open environment and i think this test is definitely going to be in august during the beta that's one of the best things about the beta, obviously other than you guys being able to play the game on your own, but more like from a critical perspective of content, yes, no on the buy sort of thing, is you'll be able to play the game and you'll be able to get a good idea of what the lag compensation will be like before you even make the final commitment to purchase, which is not something that Call of Duty has ever done before, and that's definitely a good thing. Maybe it'll also give them time to tweak a few things. Maybe if their new lag compensation doesn't work as good as they thought it did, they'll have time to, ch you know, polish it up to fix it, to change a few things, and maybe improve the game. So they'll be testing things out, same as you, and I will be testing things too. I'll be giving my NetDuma a little bit of use. I'll be seeing where I connect to, who I connect to, and what the pings are. And even though it is a beta, I think it'll be a fairly valid test, because one of the interesting things is that pre-orders are way, way, way up up for Black Ops 3, a lot more than I thought they would be, and a lot more than they have been for previous Call of Duty games, and that means that there's going to be a pretty huge player base for the beta, because everybody that pre-orders gets the beta, and there's going to be a whole crap load of people on the beta. Uh, as of right now, there's almost, I want to say, 700,000 pre-orders. That's ahead of Advanced Warfare, just just barely like 5-10% behind where Ghost was. Not quite Black Ops 2 or MW3 levels, but it's high. It's definitely on the rise. That's a good thing, because, you know, Call of Duty sales have been dipping slightly over the years. It's good to see some really positive indicators, and I think the beta is going to be huge. I think there's going to be a ton of people on the beta, and if you want to know how this game's going to lag, how it's going to play, how it's going to feel, I think that's going to be a really good place to start, and when the beta comes out, you'll see my testing videos as well. Guys, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Crypto out.